Now, just like we were able to add multiple vendors, we can also add multiple customers at the same time. What we're going to do here is we're going to be able to copy and paste uh, these from Microsoft Excel. So I want to go over to Excel for a second, and we have this, this sheet that's called Customers. Okay. Uh, so notice how the field name is up top there, and then each row after that has the information. Uh, the important part here is that the the fields are going to be in the same order in the uh, in the QuickBooks. Let's go to QuickBooks. To add the multiple customers, we're going to go to the Customer Center, which is right over here. We're going to pick on New Customer, and then Add Multiple Customers. Okay. Uh, so then you have the screen. What's going to be very very important? Follow my mouse over here. You're going to go into Customize Columns. The columns really have to be in the same order as uh, they appear in Excel. So uh, let's see what we have in Excel for a second. I have the customer ID, the company name, the contact name, the contact title, and then the address fields. Okay, so let's go back to QuickBooks. We'll have the name, the company name, we're going to use the contact, and then I'm going to use the alt contact as the contact title. Uh, we, have all these, uh, we have all these addresses, all these address fields, so I'm just going to move these up. Again, the idea here is to put the fields in the same order as what they are looking look like in the Excel spreadsheet. Uh, we'll use the phone and the fax. And then I probably don't need the rest of these fields now, so I can remove those. Right? So now we have the name, company name, contact. I'm using the alt contact as the contact title. We have our address fields in the phone and fax. I'm going to click on OK. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go to Excel. And then we'll pick on um, we're going to pick on the customer sheet. I want to highlight all of the records. Now notice how I'm not highlighting the, the uh, first row that contains the field names. That's not necessary. You don't really want to do that. I want to highlight all of the rows, and all of the columns. I'm going to right click and pick on copy. Then we'll come over to QuickBooks. You're going to click on the uh, the, the uh, first field of the next blank row. You're going to right click on that and then do a paste. And notice how you know we were able to put the fields in, in the proper order. And now I think we did a pretty good job with that. And now you, uh, we would pick on save down here. And now those customers should be importing into QuickBooks as we can see. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to close this window. And now you see all those customers are in there. So you can put your customers in one at a time, which is fine. You can also pick on a new job and say add multiples, and then you would uh, copy and paste them from Excel. The only trick there is that the field names have to be in the same order as they appear in the Excel spreadsheet. And that's how we can add multiple customers into QuickBooks.